Hi guys, uh, Shefflin A here, of course, you know who I am. I am going to spend the next couple of minutes talking to you about something that's really fun every spring for myself and my son, and I hope that you enjoy it. So um, leeks, leeks are actually called ramps and they are a delicacy, I guess, because they are available only a few weeks out of the year. Typically in the spring during March and April, when there's still a little bit of snow in the woods, you'll see these little green tops um, come up through the leaves in the bottom of the forest floor. Now, what I have found is most of the times these leeks grow on a southeast facing mountain on a steepest, the steepest part and where they're getting a lot of morning sun. My son and I like to go out and, and gather them. It was something that my dad always told me about here in Pennsylvania. I know there are several other uh, states that have leak or ramp festivals like West Virginia, some of the Southern states, believe it or not. And of course, time of year, they would get theirs, you know, a month or so before we're gonna get ours here in the North. But I wanted to show you what they look like and then what culinary purposes we can use them for. So I have a little show and tell set up. And um, the way I gather leeks, I just throw them in a, a plastic bag. And these are straight from the forest, okay? Um, my son and I go out, we get a rake, and we just kind of rake the leaves away from them. And I like to get down under the moss and the leaves, and I pinch them and pull them up. And this is what I get. You can see how nice and clean they are. Um, straight from the forest, okay? However, I do also purchase them because here alongside the road, people will go out and pick them. They know that people really want them and they sell them for a little bit of not too much. I got this bag for $3. Most of the green are cleaned up, but I really like the green and I'm gonna tell you why. The green tops, they're absolutely edible. It tastes like a chive sort of. Um, the white part of the leek tastes more like um, a mix between an onion and garlic, but it has its own characteristics, and they are a cousin, of course, to the onion and garlic. Another supplier that I've gotten them from, I get them like this, and you can see I have them in a little pan with the root system still intact, and I've got about this much water in there. The tops are getting a little bit softened. These are from Saturday, and, but what I'm going to try to do this year is I'm going to cut them off, clean them up. I'm going to use this root system to plant on my 13 acre property, see if I can, um, you know, grow some myself. Um, on my part two of this series, ramps or wild leeks, I'm going to share with you some recipes. That'll be next week. I'm going to make you wait, but just before we do that, um, I wanna show you a few pictures and a product that I made last year. So to make this last all year, I put them in my dehydrator and what you see here is just leak powder, okay? That can be sprinkled on anything that you would like the garlic or onion flavor to be sprinkled on. And believe it or not, in this little container, it snaps, of course. It's been airtight and that smell, that aroma is amazing because air hasn't gotten to it. Remember that with your spices, the minute you grind a spice, that air is going to dissipate some of those aromatic oils that are naturally occurring in the product. With that, let me show you a couple of pictures and then next week for part two, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, and bring up some pictures here. So this is what you'll be looking at um, in, at the, in the forest floor. Usually ramps are better when they're smaller. However, after about a month, when that bottom white part of the, the leek is less pungent, it's actually going to be more bulbous. And at that stage, people pickle them. And I'm going to do some pickling of them this year. Okay, this is what they look like after I bring them out of the dehydrator. By next week, I'll be able to show you this batch from this year. These were photos from last year. You can see my dehydrator in the back of the picture. And then as they are dehydrating, okay, um, I don't know, $70 dehydrator that you can get online if you um, want to 
know the brand or the model or how to use it, I'll be absolutely happy to do a series on that as well. Okay, they take about, I don't know, all afternoon to dry. That's what I'll be doing today between grading your assignments. <laughs> okay, and then um, I have to triple wash them. You see, this is my uh, commercial sink. I have this in the kitchen and I just triple wash, but then washing them, the way I pick them, I think is much cleaner than the way I purchase them. I don't want all that bacteria and it's just soil, but still, you never know. I don't want all that bacteria over them. So to make them even safer, that's where the dehydration process comes in. Okay. Um, I dry them after a triple wash. I make sure they're nice and dry. I let them drain a little bit and then they go into the dehydrator. You know, things like this are um, just really good experiences to do with your children. Um, Ty really likes it. I brought up, I have a picture of him right here. This is what we did all weekend. And he had a blast. He didn't think he was going to like it. He remembered doing it a couple years before, but he was so excited this year. Look at him. He picked a, a bag. We were out there for about an hour and a half, um, spending quality time. Didn't hear anything but the trees blowing in the wind. It was really cool. So with that, guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed that. Um, I love leak time. Again, they're only available maybe three, two to three weeks. People here have them on pizza with anything with ham in soups. And I hope to introduce everyone to the uh, leak jam. Leak dip is one of the most favorite items. And Saturday, Ty and I had leak dip at nauseum. Yeah, we were pretty sick of it just because it's really rich and you just combine it. I sauteed them till they were nice and tender and omitted some of that water to make them really nice and concentrated in flavor. And then I also, I cheated a little bit and put some caramelized shallot in there and mix it with some uh, cream cheese and sour cream. It was delicious. If I wanna take that up a notch, which I wanna do next time I make it, when I get to a source for goat cheese, I'm gonna try it in a goat cheese as well. So I hope you enjoyed the leak information and I will show you some more products I'm making from leaks in our second, um, our second video next week, okay? Thanks guys. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>